Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I do believe it's number 18, so we'll get started on that in a second. My uh, First, I wanted to say hi and hugs to Darlene, Teresa, Julie, and Nonstop Mom. <laughs> Aren't we all when we're moms nonstop? <clears throat> I watch my daughters and think, how did I do that? Well, I was a lot younger, I guess. <laughs> that's one That's one reason. Okay, so today, um, Rachel made little postcards with pockets and then a vellum flip. And so I've grabbed my scraps of vellum that we had from the other day. And um, this is my vintage envelopes um, digital. Rachel used postcards but I'm finding they're too wide for my six inch wide journals that I make so I thought instead I will I will make these envelopes fit you know because I can cut them down a bit and so um these are these are these are them that one's going to be perfect and then um and that one too. So anyway, I have some of those already cut out. Um, and then I grabbed a couple of pieces from um, one of my vintage ephemera kits on my Etsy too. And I thought maybe, maybe we'd use those. I don't know. So then I also have from making ephemera folios, I had these little cuts of, um, of vellum. So we'll just cut those down and use those. Yeah, so I think we have what we need. And um, and then there's a little sewing involved, but uh, we'll see if we do that on camera or off. Okay, so this was one that I thought was perfect. See, this one is five inches wide. So that's gonna fit into one of my journals a lot better, so. Okay, so let's see. We'll just we'll just get going and um and yeah, I thought what I do is use dots of glue maybe on these. Uh and then it can dry and I can go ahead and um I think I'm going to Let's see. These are two and a half. So, one and a quarter would be half, right? <laughs> she asks with a question mark in her voice. See, I want to leave some room at the top because Rachel found that when she put on the vellum, a couple of hers were too, too close to the top. So I think I'll just do that. Okay. Let's see, and then I need, well, I have a pen right here. I need to cut these off a little bit in order to fit. So hope you're all having a good day. Good day here so far. Spent the day yesterday um, buying my cute guy a new truck. <laughs> he has been wanting a truck for so long and we we finally pulled the plug and did it. So we spent not as long as usual. We maybe spent maybe three hours at the at the um, car place. It's not a quick process. <laughs> it just never is. So, but um, but he loves it. He's out and about right now in it. He's he had to go to Home Depot and get a new trimmer. Our trimmer died. So I'm just going to put like three dots, two on each edge, and then three across just to hold it until I sew it. That's my thought. So there we go. Um, so anyway, and yesterday I had to go to the post office, so he took me to the post office in his new truck. It's fun. I'm just so happy to see him getting something that <coughs> oh excuse me bad timing don't try out <laughs> or glitter glue don't try out okay Oof. Oof. 
goodness. Um, it is that time of year, though, isn't it? Okay. So then those are the two little pockets for little ephemera or stamps or something. And then, let's see. Got this page of vellum. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. That's pretty, too. I think I like that the best. So I'm going to just mark this. maybe. And we'll cut that. Yeah, so anyway, that's what we did yesterday. So I didn't get much done in the craft room. I got my, I got my TNs all, um, all listed on Etsy. Took me longer to, to do that than it took Mike to mow the yard. <laughs> We both started at the same time, and he finished well before I did. I'm just like, oh my gosh, takes forever. So, but thank you to the ladies who who purchased those. Yeah, so there was there was eight of them, so it was it was good. Okay, so there's that one, and I'm not going to put this on because I need to sew around here and then across here. And then um, we'll sew this on at the top is how she did it. And then the back is just plain, so it can be used for journaling. And so it's kind of a pocket and a journal card. So that's, that's how that goes. So this one's ready for sewing. I'll set it over on my sewing machine. Okay, let's see what else we have. This one's all inked and everything. Looks like my ink was brand new, but I need to cut it down. So I'm gonna cut this at five inches because um, again, it will just fit my journals better that way. So, can use that for something. Okay, yeah. Um, I thought these will be fun because I'm just kind of doing the same thing over and over again and we can just chat, just chat away. Uh, this isn't going to be as, as dark of ink because my ink pad isn't newly, but at least it will match a little bit better. Um, so one of, uh, one of um, my subbies asked me to talk about uh, what the other people did at the retreat. I showed you what I did, but she said it's it would be interesting to know what others made at the retreat. And so, um, so I thought we could talk about that. So let's see. So my friend Sharon, who was across from me and on our little tables, she is working on a... Um, kind of a family history scrapbook. She's done one for her side of the family and now she's doing one for her late husband's side of the family to give to her kids. Um, you know, um, she, she does the, she does 12 by 12 scrap, uh, paper and then scrapbook paper and then, um, arranges the pictures and stuff on them. And, um, and then she takes the 12 by 12 pages and takes them to a, uh, copy place and they copy them. And so I think, I think she needs like five copies of what she's done or something like that. And so, um, yeah, so that's what she was doing. And, oh, she had some cool old pictures. I mean, like way old, like horse and buggy old. And, um, yeah, so that was really cool. And then, um, and then behind her, my friend Pam, she was making cards. Uh, she was, and she scrapbooks too. So she was, uh, cropping photos, I guess you call it. Um, there we go. Make that straight. Try to anyway. 
Um, yeah, so she was making, um, getting pictures ready for her scrapbooking. And poor Pam, she ran out of stuff to do. And so now you know why I take as much as I take. Because you don't want to, oh, that's almost perfect. You don't want to run out. I don't want to run out. Um, so anyways, she was doing that. Oh, and Sharon um, was trying to do stuff on the computer to do on the Cricut, if that makes sense to those of you who do Cricut, and um, and couldn't get it to couldn't get it to work, so she ran out of stuff to do. So when I tell you what my friend Diane did, I'll tell you what Sharon did the rest of the retreat. Bless her heart. So anyway, um, let's see. So, yeah, that's what Pam did. She cropped photos, and she made a few cards. And then Linda, who sits across from Pam, always. So that's going to be that one, guys. That's going to be that one. I kind of like how this stamp ended up in, um, it kind of ended up in the middle of the flower. It almost looks like a flower center. Okay, so there's that one. And we'll sew a couple of them or something at the end so that you can see what you do. Um, okay, so okay, so this one's five and a half. Can't really cut that very easily, can I? I was thinking this one I could cut. Okay. Um. So. Anyway, Linda. Linda makes gorgeous cards. Oh my gosh. Her daughter-in-law was a Stampin' Up! representative. And she has everything you can think of from Stampin' Up! She really does. Okay, so this one's going to be five and a half-ish. But that's okay. I think this is such a cool one. I think that if it doesn't fit on a page, it will fit maybe um, on on the back cover or something as a pocket. Okay, I think I need to distress that a little around the edges. Um, anyway, so Linda made, gosh, I forget. We looked at all her cards at the end, and I think she had like 48 cards or something. Uh, huge amount of cards she makes them four at a time so that she uses a 12 by 12 piece of paper and does four at a time you know um and then yeah so anyways she made a lot of cards and they're gorgeous i mean she she stamps and then she then she paints on the inside of the stamp and yeah she she does really beautiful cards so that's what she did. And yeah, I think she made like 48 or something. <clears throat> and then my friend Diane and um, Cindy, they did, um, uh, they were, they're quilters and they did paper piecing. If you are familiar, it's where they, um, I don't know exactly how they do it, but they, they put the pieces of fabric onto paper and, um, and the paper has the pattern of the quilt and then they, um, and then they sew it and cut it all out and everything. Oh my gosh. It's intensive. Oh, look at that. They fit perfect without cutting. That's awesome. So anyways, yeah, it's, it's intense. Well, Sharon, when she ran out of stuff to do, she says, does anybody have anything they need help with? <laughs> well, I think she she uh, kind of rethought that after Diane says, you could peel the paper off of, you know, so that she's sewn all these fabrics onto this paper. And then you have to tear it all off, you know, um, 
and you have to be careful not to undo the sewing the sewn seam you know and um so there's sharon with a with a pair of tweezers just working and working at picking all that paper off oh my gosh it, it looked <laughs> looked like quite a lot so anyway that was pretty funny and and she got a lot done for diane it was awesome so anyway she did that um let's find a piece of vellum Ooh, that is just about perfection so we're gonna do that um oh my cute husband's back um anyway yeah so i i think she was sort of ruining the moment that she said does anybody have anything to do she, she says this is the dumbest thing i ever heard of <laughs> oh, it's like what you sew all these pieces on the paper yeah so anyway you have to have you have to have lots of patience to be a quilter so anywho um that's what she did and then my friend lynn oh my gosh my friend lynn oh that moved on me sorry guys we'll do that again there we go might be slightly short but i think it'll be okay let's see <clears throat> oh yeah it's fine so that will go on top of that one all right um Anyway, so uh, my friend Lynn, oh, she is an amazing, amazing um, stitcher. She's a stitcher. And um, just looking to see if there's any of these, maybe these little ones. Yeah, that one I can cut it down just a skosh. Um, anyway, she was doing, and she's also a quilter. A woman of many talents, my friend Lynn. And she also makes journals. So she's coming to my journal retreat. So that'll be fun. She's she's amazing. She's so much inspiration. Hi, Lynn. I love you, my friend. Um, anyway, she did quilt blocks. 12 quilt blocks that are... Um, their wool fabric and their birds for each month. So each, you know, each image is um, for a different month. And so she has to cut out the pieces, then piece them onto the backing and then st hand stitches them on. And so I think she got three or four months done while we were there. But, oh, just, you guys, you just wouldn't believe it, Lynn stuff. And Lynn, my, my friend Lynn, she's the one getting the new um, craft room, you know, up the street from me. And, oh, man, I can't wait for that. So I just keep, I keep watching the construction with great interest. So um, one of you asked me, would Lynn let me take kind of a tour of her craft room when she gets when it gets done um so you guys can see it and I think she was somewhat open to that so anyways I'll keep working on her <laughs> Lynn are you watching oh she watched the video where I was telling you all about her amazing new craft room <laughs> oh it's it's gonna be so cool so anyways um we'll see if we can't get in there with our camera so um so yeah anyway she did that and so um yeah and where we go it's called the scrapbook house and she's got a cricket there she's got um a big shot you know she's got the paper crafting stuff there and so um sharon was working with the cricket um linda did a bunch of die cutting so she was working with the big shot and so there was that ironing board and iron so you know the quilters have that look 
Okay, I'm going to put this one kind of down further. Okay, which one shall we do for that? I have, do I have other, other bits? You know what? In the Tim Holtz one, let me just grab this. Um, the Tim Holtz one might be good to use the six by six squares on this. That's what I was thinking. Wherever they are. Here, here's one. Oh, it's starting to fall out. Ooh, how about that birdie one? That'd be cool. And so once again, Rachel printed digitals on vellum is what she used, but... I had these already, so I was like, might as well use what I have and not be printing more stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to use those birds. Won't that be cool? Yep, yep, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm just going to, I think what I'll do is just cut these. Yeah, so anyway, that was... That was the scoop there. As far as what everybody else was doing. And Diane gave me all of her fabric scraps. <laughs> that was fun. So I'm going to hear one of these first days. We're going to kind of look through those and see what we can do. I want to make some more of those... Um, you know, fabric bits, uh, those covers, those journal covers with all the fabric bits, you know, if you guys saw me do that video, um, I'd like to do some more of those. Looks like I might have to do a project with leftover vellum bits too. <laughs> but, um, so, so, and then I thought I might make up some packs if you guys are interested of fabric scraps for my Etsy. Because she gave me, <laughs> I mean, she's a prolific quilter. So, what she got done is she got a whole quilt top done. And then she started working on that paper piecing thing, which was super complicated it had um uh it's like a, a star with diamonds in it oh makes my brain hurt to even look at it so anyway um she's very prolific quilter oh that's gonna be cute and um so yeah we let's see if i if i cut that down a little bit um yeah, so anywho, um, she, she gave me a bunch of scraps. And so I'm excited about that. And um, yeah, let me know if you think that would be fun to have some little scrap things. I think I'll leave the top part so that it's taller. Yeah, that's a, just slightly over five now. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, we'll ha we'll have a play with that, but she just, well, and then she's the one who, oh, on my basket that I bought, this basket, these are all scraps of stuff she was doing. This, these, these pieces, she was making a quilt top and, um, she got that, she got that all done. So amazing to me. So it's, it is cool to see what everyone is doing. But then at mine, that's at the end of May, um, it's all journal makers. But then again, it's all, you know, there's a lot of cross inspiration that happens. Because, um, oh, whoops, forgot to cut them. Oh, well, I'll put this down. Man, cut it off. <laughs> Whoopsie. Got that part. 
Okay, so then we'll cut this one before hand. Yeah, so um, so that was good. It was good to you know, and and it is kind of crazy because I definitely can use the quilt scraps, you know. So even if we're not doing the same craft, you know, you still can you still can share and have some fun with that. Um, I took a lot of my, you know, my CT publishing books that I share in the in the Etsy shares. Well, um, a lot of them were quilt books. And so I took those to share with the gals. So that was good. Got one, you know, kind of getting one little thing out of my craft room. I'm wondering about this one since that's got writing. And you can kind of, you see that well. I don't think you'll see it as well with the others. So I think to put that on there. Need to straighten that up. We're going to have this piece of vellum all used up here soon. It seems. Okay. So let's mark it. And I better check the time and see how we're doing for time. Because I did, did want to sew a couple of these. And then I might, I might do like, I don't know, do some sort of little decorating on this too. I don't know. I have, I need to make some things for last week's uh, Roxy Creations cha uh, Challenge. I need to make some things to go into into those pockets. I have a pile of unfinished projects over there, so definitely need to get on that. It's because it's bugging me. Okay, so we'll put put that over that, and that will be cute. Okay, um, I want to do maybe one more. Oh yeah, I'll do one more, and then we'll sew a couple, and then maybe decorate. I don't know. So this one, I could maybe cut that off. That would work. Let's just see. I really want to do this one because it's tall, but it's just not going to work for this particular thing. This is a cool one, too, but I think it's going to be too wide. Oh, this one might work. And that's kind of cool with the green. Okay. And I haven't worked with these envelopes of mine in a while, so this is fun. That worked pretty well. Okay, so I can go right about there. Okay, it's a smaller one, but that's okay. I think I'll still have enough room. get busy today I my my besides doing videos my two other need to do's are um, getting my Etsy orders packaged up but then I'd also like to do my um, do my email to the ladies that are coming to my retreat just to start start divvying out meals and stuff like that. I think I might put a little distress around the edges of this. Because I think you, you do kind of see it through the vellum. And I have a couple of 
little spots of white from cutting it. So we'll just do that. So Rachel had something that she, I don't know, she bought or um, I don't know exactly what it was, but it inspired her with this idea. So that was cool. It is funny how we just look at everything differently, don't we, as um, as journal makers and paper people. <laughs> yeah, it's like, ooh, that could be this, or this could be that. Oh, I better save that. Okay, I'm going to get this kind of close to that one. Leave enough room at the top. Okay, Oops. I need to have a, a good thorough mat cleaning too. It's it's getting a little it's getting a little goopy. Okay, I need to cut these ones off just a skosh. And I don't know how we how many we've made here, but let's use let's use some of this. Oh I mean that just doesn't get any more gorgeous than that, does it? We're going to have to cut off the bird's tail. I am sorry to inform you. <laughs> we can't say no birdies were mutilated <laughs> in this video, can we? Oops. That's, that's how she goes. Okay. See now like this one that's vellum is so so pretty it doesn't really need any anything else but oh I'm such a dum dum these don't need to be they don't need to go that way for the pockets I guess they could but these are supposed to be in put in pockets as journal cards on the back oh I'm such a goof Okay, now we have to make one more because I can make a big, as big a one as I want. I'm going to do, I want to do, oh, I wanted to do this one, didn't I? <sighs> head shaking. Uh, my head is shaking because I am just not the brightest bulb on the string of lights, let's just say. <laughs> Oh, man. So, yeah. So, this is going to go, like, in a pocket or something. Okay. Well, you know. I mean, those others will work that way, too. But I didn't have to be cutting them down and everything. Oh, man. So, what if we do this one on this one with all the bugs? That'd be cute. Okay, we'll do that. So, but let's... Do this first. What a goof. I mean, if you were yelling that at me, it took me a while to hear you. <laughs> oh, jeezy peasy. Oh, look at that. It's the perfect size. <laughs> All right. Well then, yeah, and so then these needs need little things tucked in. Yeah, I just I feel like I have a lot of finishing up things to do. I'm gonna sneeze again. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh goodness, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Something's in the air. Something's blooming. My spring flowers are blooming. My tulips and my daffodil. Oh, it's just so pretty out there. I love it. Love springtime for that. Okay. Goodness sake, scale. You silly girl. Yeah, so I went ahead and... 
went ahead and printed another batch of these thinking, I, I don't think I have many of those left, I said to myself. And I looked in one place and nope, there wasn't any there. Then I looked in another place. Well, I look, I was looking for these vellum things because I knew I had those. Sure enough, there's all these printed ones. So, yeah, such a goof. Um, there it is. Couldn't see it for a second. That's very, very busy pattern. But a cool one. Okay. So now that's going to be that one. And that will just go there. Okay, so let's move this stuff. And I'm going to have to keep, well, a lot of uh, Rachel's challenge things I've kept as um, as examples in my uh, idea book. So, okay, I'll move these over for a second. And we have all these. So let's let's do a couple that I feel like need decorating, and then um, and then um, we'll have a couple finished. I don't know how many we will have finished. I have a lot of sewing to do. I have a whole stack of the stuff we made the other day. So see, I think this could use a little decorating. Okay, so let's just get our little sewing machine that has been. Thoroughly cleaned by sewing professionals. <laughs> oh, you know what we should do is we should do one that's drier. That's what we should do. So let's do this one. We'll do this one. Okay, so I'm going to sew here, here, and here. Then I'm going to sew here. And then we'll sew this one on, okay? So I'm going to use a straight stitch here. Can you believe how this little baby hums now? It may or may not have been struggling. <laughs> yes, it was struggling. Poor thing. Okay, so now we're going to sew up the top pocket, uh, the bottom of it, so that it... And I got that seemed pretty close to the edge just because I want to have, you know, as much pocket as I can. Okay, so you see that? So we sewed all the way around here and then I just sewed a line along there. Now we're going to put this on top and we're going to sew it on top. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do a zigzag for that. Actually, I'm going to make it smaller just to not take up so much room. Okay. And Okay, and you may have noticed I didn't backstitch, so um, a little trick with that. Let me just move my sewing machine and show you. So I didn't, and so we don't want that to come unglued, right? So I'm just going to take a little fabric tack, and I'm going to, um, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of fabric tack right there, a little right there there just for good measure I'll do it on the back as well and that's going to keep that from unraveling or anything 
so then um and then so then we can we can decorate this and then this will flip up and you'll have little things in the pocket rachel folded hers over i'm gonna wait a minute until that glue dries so i'm just gonna set that over there let's see should we do one that we're not going to decorate just, just for the fun of it? Let's do this one. Um, actually, I don't know. I might decorate that. I might put like a little label or something on that. Always reserve the right for a label. Okay, I'm going back to straight stitch and we're going to stitch around the edge. I'm not back stitching on this one either because it's uh it's thinner paper so I don't want to sometimes the holes that you make with sewing sometimes you can make it so it wants to just fall off so we won't do that okay and then this one I'm gonna go right to the edge so you can see these are fairly quick to make but really cute Okay. Okay, I'm going to do this one with the zigzag again. that one I wonder if we can what time is it mm, I don't think I'm gonna get them all sewn so we're just not gonna worry about how many we get done we'll have once I have a chance to sew them all we'll have what will we have two three four five six seven of them um but just just for fun for you guys I think I'd like to to decorate these okay so this one need a little trim there I think I might want to distress the outside a little bit yeah oh yeah that's nice and then I'm thinking we could actually just do just do a little something on this. Thinking over here. I don't want to cover up that really though. I was thinking of put, putting book page behind this, but then that covers up that whole flower. Ooh, I think I like that. Okay. And I mean... You don't have to decorate them. I mean, like the Tim Holtz ones are, are pretty decorative as they are, but you know, this is a little bit plainer vellum. I think just simply that. So let's put that on. And then we'll try bending them and seeing what happens. I'm just hoping the vellum doesn't crack or anything. Um. Rachel seemed to do it on hers, so hopefully it will work. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah, and then she just folded it up. I'm scared to. I don't want it to ruin it. I think I'm just going to leave it to where you just pull it up like that. You can still get things in and out. But isn't that cute? What a great idea, Rachel, you smart lady, you. Okay, so there's that one. This one I was thinking of maybe just a little, um, little 
got in there. Let's see. Maybe my Tracy stuff, which when I came home from my retreat, I filed it in the wrong spot. How's that? Um, I was thinking of some of her round things, like this one. Like, let's just put that right there. That doesn't cover up anything, but it, it gives it a little something extra. I'm wearing slippery pants today, and I keep sliding off my chair. Oh. My chair keeps scooting back, and, and I'm, I'm barely hanging on. Okay, Sue. So, tricky sometimes to get that off. There we go. Okay. Put that right there, and there's that one. Super cute. Okay, I think we have time perhaps oh yeah we've got about not quite 45 minutes so let's see how many other ones we can get done um <clears throat> we'll just we're just gonna go for it okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sew around them all and then i'm gonna put these on and that way i'm not flipping back and forth between stitches if that makes sense So I should say if the, the sewing machine bugs you, then just um, fast forward through this part. Okay, and then right here. That's that one's whoa <laughs> I just got that all tangled up okay so that goes with this one and then we'll we'll do the zigzag in a minute here okay so yeah kind of in a mass making fashion get seven of these done except if we want to decorate a little after all I don't know we'll see one thing about this It shows you how quickly you can get these done, doesn't it? more for the pocket part. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, one more on the pocket end of things. So when we get all done, I'll look at the time and see how long it took us to sew them. Not very long, I don't think. <clears throat> I think it's going pretty quick. Okay, so now we can change to zigzag and put all the, all the covers on. Make sure I have it right side up. That would be that would be something I would do. Okay. Now I'm going to do the quilter's trick where you just keep feeding the pieces in. That makes it super quick. You're not cutting your thread all the time. Get on there, you. having trouble lining that one up for some reason. we go and done let's see how long it took ah uh, six minutes six minutes to sew all of those that's kind of cool isn't it okay so now since the, these are all attached you just have to go back and give them a snip and you've got all of your cards uh, so fun all right so this one this one I feel like it could stand on its own um, this one too really I like that one as is too so these two could use a little something I really like that little flower. Maybe that was one of the Tim Holtz wallpaper flowers. Let's see if we have one that would work on this one. No, nope. it's too big. That's not too bad. Um, ooh, that's a cute one. Oh, isn't that cute? Let's do that. I think. Just saw this one too. Hmm. I can't decide between those two. 
I like them both. I think I like that one better. Okay. You know, I wasn't sure I'd use these flowers much, but I really have. I've, the you know, the little cutouts of them. I really have. I've enjoyed them. So we'll put that one on that, and then... Okay. We're going to have all seven of these done. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of myself. I didn't think I was going to get them done. There's a lesson. Don't give up on yourself, Gail. You can do it. Okay. I like that in this corner. Okay. That one, we need to have it down enough that it'll bend. Yep, I think we're okay. Okay, and then this one, what would we like? I'm kind of wondering about this. I think I might just put that right there along that side, unless there's another one that grabs me. I think they're mostly too big though. Yeah, that's too big. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that right there. Okay. And then we're done. I'll show you kind of what she's thinking in terms of I mean, we're done except for filling it, right? Can go in my pile of still needs to be completely finished off. But yeah, I'm going to put one of these in my idea book, I think. Because this is really cute. And I sometimes, I don't know about you, but I sometimes struggle with what to do with vellum. So I really appreciate having these ideas, Rachel. Okay, so, like, for instance, I think I have, I have a little ticket. Let's just do one that, that's dry. So you can put a little ticket in there. You could put um, some pretty stamps. Let's see, do I have any bug stamps since this is kind of bug related? Because I probably wouldn't use bugs too much in my normal work. Butterflies. Like, put that in there. You know, and then just fill it up with ephemera. Put some, put some on the top too. You know, um, I think I have some little tags. Ah. This is my box of small stuff. Um, there's a little tag. I don't know. Actually, that does go in pretty well. Okay. And what else do we have? Those tags, too. Here's a pretty little flower tag. That would be cute in one of these flowery ones. You know. So yeah, just grabbing little things out. This is super cute. Be cute in a in a Timmy one. See, so yeah, so you just fill up those inside pockets. So yeah, that's pretty fun, huh? 
Look at these little things. These would be cute in one, too. These little flower things. That one's all inked already. Might be slightly big. I don't want to... This side is good. Then I'm not covering up something on the on the bottom envelope. So, yeah, so I just need to go through my itty bitty things and just see what all what all would fit. This one says this one says uh, spring flower to me. So, maybe I'll put this one in there. Yeah, just like that. And then that kind of shows through too, which is kind of fun. Okay, so we got seven done, guys. I'm so proud of us. Okay, now they just need to be filled and we're done. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Thanks for the great idea, Rachel. And we will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day, everybody. Bye-bye.